Is that distracting? Is that in the way, any way, shape, or form? Hmm? Oh, that should get wasted. Oh, no, not that. All right. So, wow, that like zooms in a lot. When I don't, I don't know. When you record videos, I don't know why I'm smiling, but I am. I, I shouldn't. But you know what? It's time. It's time I admit I have an issue. And I'm not talking about my Marvel DVD issue. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I'm talking about something, something much worse. Maybe not, maybe not so worse. But something just as bad, I guess, is my Harry Potter obsession. I mean, you know I like it. Obviously. Come on. Let's play Harry Potter and Order of Phoenix. And Half Blood Prince. And Blaine's Own Doing the Deathly Hallows. Part 2, which is a very terrible game. It's mediocre. Mmm. Root beer. Fantastic. I haven't shaved. I need to shave. Yeah. <laughs> it's an issue but you know I got this bad boy not so long ago this is a new, very reflective actually yeah that distracted me wow um the Marauders map phone case for my phone in, in case you're wondering why the phone isn't in it it's because I'm recording with my phone so you know I took this off so you can all see it I solemnly swear that I am up to no good Mischief manage. Oh boy. Um, but. And we have all the books and all the movies. Uh, I probably should have got the movies, but I didn't. Because my namesake is out there. And if you don't know what that means, that means the person I'm named after is out there. Sitting in a chair in the living room where those DVDs are. And I would look like an idiot if I just went in there, <laughs> grabbed seven DVDs. I say seven because I have Deathly Hallows Part 1 and Part 2 in one DVD case. One double feature. Um, you gotta look lonely. No, I'm not gonna do that. Got a haircut, by the way. It looks, I look fat -proof. I'm kidding. But I've read this book twice, you know. And it was good both times. Understood more the second time. Um, Chamber of Secrets, and if you notice, these books are in terrible condition. We've had them forever. Like, look at that. <laughs> this is a pain to read with. Just like, oh, 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 no, there goes half the book. <sighs> the book is in such terrible condition. We need new ones. If my mom is ever going to read these books to our grandchildren, we need new ones. I've read this one twice, too. It's also our second book. Don't ignore me. The third book. Which is arguably my favorite. I don't know why. Don't ask that question. I don't know why. In case you're wondering why my eyes keep darting back and forth, it's because I'm looking at this. At the pause, stop, and capture button. When the camera is over here, it's right there. That's why I never. I, that's why my eyes never look straight because I'm never looking at the camera. I just can't do it. What's up? For some odd reason, I just want to look at me. <laughs> oh, I can see it. I swear. Uh, Mm, Harry Potter and God of the Fire. I've only read this book once. Yeah, no. Going on, I've only read them once. But, uh... I'm rereading this one currently. I don't know what that stands for anything. Good book. Goblet. Tea. And fire. I don't know anymore what I'm doing or saying, so ignore me. No, please don't love me. 
Uh, <coughs> this is the fifth book, you might not tell. Now you can. Yeah, I just told you where the camera was, and then I come over here. That's how weird I am. No, okay, I'm just... God damn, I need to just do this. Yeah, there you go. There you can zip upside down. No. It just looks reversed in there. My bad. My bad. I just got weird. But I haven't read these books since like seventh to eighth grade. That's four years. Those books I read this summer, so I'm good. Harry Potter and Half Blood Prince. Uh, if you notice, this is the newer one. Uh, the twentieth anniversary edition. I don't. I don't know if you can see. It. But I want you to look very closely. At Dumbledore's nose. It is ginormous. His nose is humongous. Like, I just. <laughs> I laugh at it every time I see it. I just. <laughs> I can't help it. I laugh. It's just. When you have the last piece of the jigsaw, everything will, I hope, be clear. Arbus Dumbledore. That is. It, it gives you the quote. How quite. But yeah, we didn't have that book. I'm not. We, we didn't have that book just in general. I mean, we, we were ashamed, but we didn't. Whatever. Obviously, last but not least, you all know Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows, which we got as soon as it came out. But I wasn't reading books at that time because I was like in 07. Not HIV positive, just do that. Oh, yep, I was seven. I was in fifth grade. I was 11. I didn't read. I was like, reading? <laughs> what am I? Nerd? No, kidding. Uh, I didn't say that. Um, if anything, I was just like, I didn't have the attention span to read when I was 11 or in elementary school in general. Uh, I didn't read, read, like, for fun and anything until, like, oh, what was it? 13. I was in seventh grade. So, two years after that book came out, <laughs> uh, I started reading for fun. And, um, my first book was A Time for Andrew. I think I've told you this before, but I'm not really sure. It was a ghost story, and I liked it. It was 160 some odd pages, and it took me a week to read just because, you know, I was just getting into reading, so therefore, it still took me a while to sit down, you know, and just read. After, you know, years of being an active kid, playing video games and all that junk, your attention span for books is a little shoddy, I guess you say. <laughs> um, but I, I found the time, and then when Percy Jackson, I found Percy Jackson at Walmart changed my life <laughs> but uh and then I read those books and they got me really into reading and then after that I was like you know what I've watched all the Harry Mo Harry Potter movies Harry Potter movies up to this point so I was like let's do it let's, let's do this let's read them I haven't I haven't read them before and like I, I saw the first book and I was like okay this isn't bad the second book good the fourth book not the fourth third book mm -hmm. okay a bit bigger than what I'm used to but I can handle it it's not much bigger seven book more seven hundred pages oh but I read them anyway you know why reading counts you know when that was a thing I don't even know if that's still a thing like I'm so old now that I what is reading counts now? Is, is, does that exist? Is that still a thing? Do people still use reading counts as an excuse to get children to read? Like, in sixth grade, I didn't read, but I listened to a lot of books on cassette tapes. <laughs> that was my way to escape that. I'm just like, car shop, take me. I'm put in a series of fortune event, cassette tape, put it in, put the earbuds on, walk my dog, listen to the book. 
take a quiz on it, get the pages without even having to read it, or follow along with it, just had to listen to it. <laughs> oh yeah. And they only, and here, here's the bad thing, is that I didn't even read uh, the 13th book, or the final book in the series, the series of Fortune Event series, in sixth grade, it was out, but I didn't read it because it wasn't for reading counts. So therefore, there wasn't a cassette tape on it. So I was just like, screw it. I'm not doing that. I'm not gonna read, read it. Are you serious? You want me to read, like, the words? You want me to do this? Harry Potter has never played a sport while playing on a broomstick. He's never worn a cloak of invisibility, befriended a giant, or helped hatch a dragon. All Harry knows is a miserable life with the Dursleys. His horrible aunt and uncle and their abominable son, Dudley. Harry's room is a tiny closet at the foot of the stairs, and he hasn't had a birthday party in 11 years. That, that's his whole life, so why not just say ever? But all that is about to change when a mysterious letter arrives by Owl Messenger. A letter with an invitation to a wonderful place he never dreamed existed. There he finds not only friends, aerial sports, and magic around every corner, but a great destiny that's been awaiting him. Harry can survive the encounter. Like, you wanted me to do that? No. So, I didn't read it. And even in seventh grade, I didn't read it, even though I started reading for fun. And then in eighth grade, I was like, you know what? The library, the library ladies loved me in junior high. Like, I visited them a lot. And you, but you didn't read in sixth grade. No, I didn't, but I still had to go to the library and check out a book. And I did it like almost every week. <laughs> That's how intense I was about getting these pages. Because <laughs> when I do something and I set my mind to it, I do it. And these pages were something I wanted, so I got them. <laughs> and so I listened to these series of Fortune and Vince book and like, a time span of four to six days so every week I was in that library getting a new book and the library lady they loved me the teachers were like what <laughs> what was wrong with this kid no how I'm like simple I walk my dog and listen to the books and just listen to them whenever the fuck I can so except I didn't cuss because I didn't cuss in sixth grade I didn't really cuss in seventh grade either I didn't start cuss cussing until eighth grade when I met my friends, but that's a story for another time, I guess. But then I finally got to the Harry Potter books and they, they helped me with pages amazingly. <laughs> I got to 3,000 pages by a short stint and she was like, no, I want I forget who it was. Mrs. Alverson was like, she was the greatest teacher too. What did she say? Because I went up to her and I told her 3,000 and she said something. And I was like, no, that's what I have. Like, this is what I got. Overall. She said, what? Oh, God. And she was, that was amazing. I didn't win. Overall, I'd won in that class though. <laughs> no, but something else. It says. No. No. Swish and, swish and flick. Ingardium Leviosa. Experiomus. It worked. I'm kidding. <laughs> Such an idiot. Mombada. No, that's not good. Don't blow. Don't phone. Don't blow up. Oh, great, great. I'm not a wizard. Oh, um, yeah. A wand. We have... These were not made for Harry Potter purposes. By the way, the, these wands were made for the intent. I think that she was a witch? No, she had a, a bookcase full of spells and witchcraft and all that jizz. So she got chopsticks. She painted them. This one's chipping a bit. Ah, uh, hot glue. And I don't know what this, I don't know what this is. 
but all of this is hot glue. <laughs> And I have all the movies. Um, I'm a big Harry Potter geek. Sorry for wasting your time. You know, if you felt like I wasted your time, then obliviate. I forgot where the camera was again. Let's, let's redo that. Obliviate. There we go. Now, you won't remember a thing, and your time will have not been wasted according to your brain. Hope you have a great day. Remember, only you can be the best you can possibly be. If you like the video, give it a like. Comedy you will. That would be very magical. Don't kill me. And subscribe. Ta-ta. For now.